a piece of a poem from the everyday man's perspective, written by Christopher Staub. Me and the voices. Am I supposed to feel bad for some poor slug sleeping on the side of Broad Street in the middle of summer? Nah, not really. It's summer. You can make a dollar. Hopefully panhandling and get yourself a McDouble. Eat half for lunch, half for dinner. You get skinny, but you don't care. You just keep getting by, though insanity and constantly moving. No cash, no paper, nothing. Just you and a couple thousand people wandering the city streets, all looking oh so busy. But no one ever stopping to take the time to look down on the curb for a second and hand him a dollar. But God bless the church, the community, the government for giving a helping hand. Someone almost always does. But when no one does, when there's no one there to help, it's just you and the voices. Is that how we see homeless? As burdens? As poor slugs? We walk right by the homeless in the city. We walk right by men, women, and child, all who need our help. We know what we see, we know what we feel, but do you know how they feel, what they see? We got a chance to sit down with Robert Henry, a 32-year-old black male who has been homeless in DC for the past 11 years. His passion is poetry, and he writes as often as he can. He has clung onto this art form, and it gives him life. Here is what he sees. Here is the poetry of his heart. Never have I seen such a barrage of brutal normalcy. The worst kind of casualty to be is the kind that doesn't die, but instead buys his time lifting barbells, slaves to the cage, bracing so identities don't break, riding the train of thought, trying to estimate how much freedom costs. But black men are perceived as barbarians and are high on the law enforcement barometer. It's nothing to see brothers kicked out of bars because brothers don't get banned, they get barred from establishments. See, going to prison is synonymous with being a rap star. That's why niggas are quick to step in the booth and spit 16 bars. It ain't hard to tell. Locking up master ceremonies have, has become as ceremonial as bar mitzvahs. The system is a circus, like Barnum and Bailey trick the animal into confining itself or bring charges on them that for things that are crazy like a lost ID driving 81 miles an hour in a lane where the speed limit is 80 walking and chewing gum simultaneously whatever increases the arrest toll pretty soon we'll all be wearing barcodes this is attack mode let them niggas drop like bars of soap barbecue niggas give them bargains to sell themselves short Watch the women dress like young Nikki, meaning they're dressing like black Barbie dolls with plastic intentions. We'll beat them out of their culture bar none, and then we can blame it all on Barack Obama. See, it's clear that there are those who still hate us, from Barcelona to Barbados, from DC to the Decatur's, from your coworkers to your neighbors, whatever it takes to deflate us. They use hip hop just to try to cross and fade us. So, as you nonchalantly take your drink from the bartender or that mocha you're getting from the barista, know that you could be the next murder, the next person with cups around your wrist and a dog barking in your face, being rushed out of a town where gentrification was barging in the way anyway. So, stay focused and on guard or find yourself just another black man behind bars.